homemade here. You know, it's a family, we have two families running it. Locals like it, tourists like it, when they're here, it's a family business. John, it was his bakery. He started it from scratch, 1994. And then when we took it over in 2010, then we kept on the wholesale, and our idea was we got, let's expand the cafe and start putting more product out for lunches, and, and then it just took off. We had a business before, and we made a joke, well, why don't we just buy the bakery? Thought that would be it. So two cafes, the wholesale business, very busy. All of our children were working. And then we got approached in Banff. So that's almost like building an empire. And, 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 <laughs> and, and I'm asking the question because bakeries or artisan bakeries as a general struggles. It's not a business that seems to be growing up. It's, it's hard to compete with the big, bigger bakeries in Calgary, like especially in the wholesale side. The restaurants are always looking for their bottom line. They always got to cut their costs. So the places that appreciate us are they're trying to do the locally sourced product. Every day we have a different artisan bread. We also have what we call our everyday bread. You come in, you can get your white whole wheat multigrain. We have certain buns that we do. We make the lasagna from scratch. Angie makes that. And then we're really well known for the soup and sandwich. You get a sandwich here. It's made on bread that we just baked that morning. I mean, how much better can it get? From our previous business to now is the hardest thing is the staff. And this is actually Mike, our baker that we have right now. He is probably the first qualified baker that we've had apply in the, since we own the business. I think in Europe it's a profession that is regarded as, it's an old profession, it's valued. In the day when that was a profession there probably weren't all these other new professions out there and new different jobs and you know all the technology and everything that's come about now and the young kids, that's what they want to do. They're moving with the times and they don't want to we don't have that passion to create things. Often we'll find it's the young girls that are finishing and they, they want to do the decorating. We need the bakers that lift the 50 pound bags of flour and that can do the kneading. I grew up on a farm and my mom, she baked every Saturday our bread for the whole family and we were nine kids. Lots of bread and when it came out of the oven we just, you know, we just went for it. After the weekend we had none left. I love the smell of bread. I love to eat it. Then you come to the baker and you smell it and it's it's so nice, right? And then I make every Friday I make the Zopf, that's a Swiss product. That's my favorite one to do because first of all when I do it and it's only me I'm doing it because it relaxes me and I think about home. This is my baby. If that breaks down I will be very sad. And they last forever. Yeah, because that them. is an older model, right. so it it's, yeah, lasts forever. Because the newer one, they're more comfy, right? So that's a little bit more a problem. Okay, so this is made, this is puff pastry. Yeah. And then you have a cream, a Bavarian cream in the middle. And then again a puff pastry, Bavarian cream, and then puff pastry, and then the icing and the design. This, so uh, that's a typical European thing. Yes. But the only thing in Europe, it's pink. Here in Canada, has it looks a little bit different. Why don't you make it pink? Oh, here. Because that looks nice. Don't always have to be the same at home, right? <laughs> That's right. You, uh, if you hold your hands over, that's, that's from nice. scaling, no? It, oh, it's, it, it works it, out. Yeah, yeah I can see. When they scale the bread, that's from so many years working on it. It's actually oh. not even anymore. I'm so jealous about your scale. I love that scale. How before. many loaves of bread? I want to ask you, how many loaves of bread do you think has gone through this thing? Oh, thousands of thousands of thousands. I don't know how many, but thousands. I mean, look at that scale. That's a pretty old one. When one day, I guess, we will sell the bakery. I take this one with me, that's for sure. This is chef's privilege. This is, you, you get to do this when you make stuff. This is the bit they don't tell you about. That's more <laughs> special than the actual product. So, so let's tuck it. OK, let's go, let's go dig in there. Mm, I'm taking a big one. Mm, that's good, right? Mm. Oh no, let's go. I love dig it. Dig in, dig in. I just want to savor this. This is beautiful. I have, Next to, one. I have, to, I have to eat that more. That cream, that that's sweet a, cream. That's the problem. If you start to eat that, you can't stop. Yeah. A big part of baking is the feel. 
That's why you, you very rarely will you find true bakers wearing rubber gloves because we want to be able to feel what the dough is, if it's sticky, if it's firm, if it's loose. You know, some guys can do it just by, by hearing. Like when I, make my, when I mix the ciabatta bread in a little while, you'll understand exactly what I mean because it sounds like somebody's being slapped silly. So where did it start? I've been 38 years doing this. I quit school really young. It was acceptable back in the day. And my mother told me the only way I could quit school is if I got a job. And they were looking for a baker or a, a, a baker's apprentice. So I went and applied for the job and got it. $3.25 an hour to start. My, my weekly paycheck take home was $187. That was for two weeks work. How long ago was that you said? 1978. Wow. Back in the day, in the old west, they always picture blacksmiths with big arms and, you know, from driving the hammers and shaping the steel and horseshoes. Bakers actually had bigger arms than, than blacksmiths because all our doughs were made, were mixed by hand. You go to work for some companies and it's like, everything's this way. You know, this is our white bread, this is our brown bread, this is our, our variety breads. Don't deviate. We're here, they, they try to get us to make more. Making something from raw ingredients and you know, putting your, putting your heart into it. It's all about heart. And with this company, I'm finding that it's got a lot of heart. You know, the owners, they're amazing and they care. And that's the thing that counts. They care not just about the clients, they care about the employees as well. <laughs> I wish I could do a nine to five job and go home and not think about anything. I guess it's the, the excitement of working for yourself. Everybody thinks it's, a, it's great, you've got freedom, you can go, come and go as you please, but I would say there's probably less freedom because you're always, you can't really leave, you're always overseeing things. But the chance to sort of build it up and you have a chance to, to earn more with our children, the six children between us, and they've all worked in different capacities for us over the years, and then you can always draw on that, right? Even if they've worked somewhere else, or you're, like, oh, Ma, do you need some help this weekend? Because I got a couple hours. And I'm like, oh, yeah, great. Can you come in, you know, washing dishes or do whatever? And that they're, they're there for you. Everything you guys make, which one's the best? <laughs> uh, I'd probably go with the Swiss rhubarb pie, which is just behind me here. It's, um, it's actually my grandmother's recipe, my mom's mom. Um, and my mom used to make them back in the day, too. So it's really good. Love the smell, especially when you come in first thing in the morning. You're just about to start work. Gets you really hungry. <laughs> It's comfort food, it's wholesome, it's made here. Well, it could have been Starbucks, but why is it not Starbucks? Why is it JK Bakery? Because it's local. We're a small town and they support our community and we support their business and that's how little towns work. I didn't want to be the trendy place because the trends will fall and finish. I just wanted to be known for good, reasonably priced, homemade food. People up on the mountains, you know, and they say, are you from JK Bakery? So, why? Yeah. How do you know that? How oh, I see you at the bakery. Oh, you know, you know, they are so excited to, to see me somewhere up there. And that is nice. And that makes me happy. And that makes everybody happy. You too can become part of this journey. Come help us. Let's celebrate these businesses together. Donate to our site, www.forwardthefavor.com, and we will bring you more of these exciting programs.